we're happy on one hand because this is such a needed thing in our community, but on the other hand, I'm a little bit jealous because we don't have anything like this in my county, but I'm working on it. Um, I met Keith because I had a, a, a client who was in DeKalb County. He had a small charge, maybe criminal trespass or something like that. And he also had a rock, a, a, a really small, well, it was a theft by receiving. He had bought a gun from a family member, actually, and it turned out that gun was stolen. So they did a traffic stop, they ran the, the gun, and the gun came back stolen, so he had a theft by receiving charge. Very small um, charges. Fast forward, he was in a what's called a pretrial diversion program in DeKalb County where they were, you know, get your case dismissed if you do whatever they say. So one of the things they say was that you have to come and meet with them and go through this, these classes, seminars and things. So Keith came in and he did his seminar and it was amazing. Everybody in there, all of the administrators, all the other attorneys, me, we're up there engaged trying to answer questions. Um, all, of, all of the participants in the seminar, we're, we're learning, we're understanding. You can see their minds changing the way that they were thinking about not just themselves, but their interaction with the community. When my client left, he came out completely different than the person he was when he came in there. When he came in there, he was worried because something happened and he had to cut off all of his hair. And so he, at the beginning, he had, he was, had his head down. And he was, um, he was not very participatory. But then as Keith kept going and kept going through the problem, you could see him start sitting up, start straightening up. You can see, you could see all of the participants with their, their minds changing, with their, attitudes changing with their lives changing. You can see about 20 young people get it, that their lives matter. I was, I, you know, I, I had never seen anything like it in my life and I, I've done criminal defense for, like I said, since 2004 when I was in the man. We walked out, um, you know, I'm working on getting my clients' um, charges in Rockdale County mitigated. Um, my client, the, I, he was actually getting ready to get expelled from the program because he got the new, tr new charges. So that day, I argued with the prosecutor and the judge, and the judge let him stay in, and the prosecutor let him stay in. This was May of this year. So I get an email from them, June. They said he has two more months. He has to do May, I mean, that was May. He had to do June and July. When was July and August? Anyway, he was almost done. Um, my client was killed, gunned down. It was all over the news the day before he was supposed to finish this, his program. Mm -hmm. um, why do we need this? Because we need to change more lives. We need to change, we need the people that we're saying black lives matter, all lives matter. Those are the people that we need to give the message to. And they need more than just doing community service. They need to start changing their mindsets. They need to understand what, how precious each one of their breaths are and that they can do something positive with each and every one of their movements. The fact that this young lady is up here with such a positive message, that's gonna stay with her for the rest of her life. But not all children are breathing that, not all children are engulfed in that, not all children are manifesting that mentality, and we have to get to them. Because that's what's gonna to lower the crime rate, that's what's gonna higher, make the graduation rate higher, that's what's going to make um, black men matriculating through college or owning their own businesses, doing something positive with their lives, changing their mindset. So when they asked me to come
come and tell you why this program is needed, I know all too well why this program is needed. And I know why I stand for it in this city. I'm, like I said, I'm so jealous that Atlanta has it before Rockdale County, but we're gonna get it. And that's one thing that I told the judge also when I was advocating for my client, that we don't have this in Rockdale County and he has the opportunity to change lives with it being in DeKalb County. And I wanted him to have the opportunity to change my client's life. So without further ado, um, I would like to turn the program back over, but thank you all for being here because you all too understand the importance of why something like this is needed in our community. Thank you.